Xbox Live Arcade is a digital video game download service available through the Xbox Games Store, Microsoft's digital distribution network for the Xbox 360. It focuses on smaller downloadable games from both major publishers and independent game developers. Titles range from classic console and arcade video games, to new games designed from the ground up for the service. Games available through the XBLA service range from $5 minus 20 in price, and as of October 2015, there have been 710 Xbox Live Arcade titles released for the Xbox 360. Prior to the Xbox 360, Xbox Live Arcade was the name for an online distribution network on the original Xbox, which was replaced by the Xbox Live Marketplace. History Xbox The Xbox Live Arcade service was officially announced on May 12, 2004, at Microsoft's E3 press conference by Bill Gates and launched on December 3, 2004, for the original Xbox game console. The XBLA software was obtained by ordering it on Microsoft's website. It was sent by mail on a disc that also contained a free version of the MUS. Pac-Man video game, to generate greater publicity for the service. The disc was also distributed with special issues of the official Xbox magazine and as part of the Forza Motorsport Xbox console bundle the service, launched with six titles and expanded its library to 12 titles by the end of the year. Once connected to Xbox Live, customers could purchase additional titles by using a credit card or download a limited trial version of a game. Prices for the games range from $4.99 to $14.99. Xbox 360 On November 22, 2005, XBLA was relaunched on the Xbox 360. The service was integrated into the main dashboard user interface, and the Xbox 360 Howard drives were bundled with a free copy of Hexic HD. Every arcade title on the Xbox 360 supports leaderboards, has 200 achievement points, and high-definition 720p graphics. They also have a trial version available for free download. These demos are playable and most of them offer only a fraction of the levels, modes, and content of the full game. A full version of the game must be purchased to allow the user to upload scores to the leaderboards, unlock achievements, play online multiplayer, and download bonus content. Several new features and enhancements have been added through software updates including a friend's leaderboard, additional sorting options, faster enumeration of games, an auto-download feature for newly released trial games, and tell her friend messages. The original size limit imposed by Microsoft for Xbox Live Arcade games was 50 megabytes. In order to ensure any downloaded game could fit on a 64 megabytes Xbox memory unit, the limit has since been changed to 150 megabytes, then 350 megabytes, and now 2 gigabytes, the latter of which is a technical limitation of the system. On September 12, 2012 the 2 gigabytes limit was raised to an unknown number with two titles, Red Johnson's Chronicles and Double Dragon Neon weighing at 2.68 gigabytes and 2.24 gigabytes, respectively. On July 12, 2006, Microsoft launched the Xbox Live Arcade Wednesdays program, which promised a new arcade game to be launched every Wednesday for the rest of that summer. When that summer ended, Microsoft announced that new titles for EXBLA would also be released on Wednesdays. In order to promote the service in retail, Microsoft released Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged Volume 1 as a compilation disc of six games. On October 18, 2007, Microsoft announced the Xbox 360 Arcade Console SKU which includes full versions of Boom Boom Rocket, Feeding Frenzy, Luxor 2, 
Pac-Man Championship Edition, and Uno. On May 22, 2008, Microsoft's general manager of Xbox Live, Mark Witten, detailed changes for the service that included increasing the size limit of the games to 350 megabytes and improving the way digital rights management is handled. Furthermore, Microsoft created an internal game studio to create high-quality digital content for XBLA. On July 30, 2008, Microsoft announced the XBLA Summer of Arcade. Anyone who downloaded one of the titles released over August would be entered into a prize draw with a grand prize of 100,000 Microsoft points. 12-month Xbox Live Gold subscription, and an Xbox 360 Elite console. Another summer of arcade began the next year on July 22, 2009. Anyone who purchases all the titles released will receive an 800-point reward. The next summer of arcade began on July 21, 2010, and features Limbo, Hydro Thunder Hurricane, Castlevania, Harmony of Despair, Monday Night Combat and Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. A shopping spree promotion ended November 1, 2010, in which anyone who spent over 2,400 points during October 2010 received an 800-point reward. By March 10, 2006, 3 million downloads had been made on the service. By January 30, 2007, that number had grown to 20 million. The service reached 25 million downloads on March 6, 2007 with 45 million downloads projected by the end of 2007. On March 27, 2007, Microsoft declared Uno to be the first Xbox Live Arcade game to exceed 1 million downloads. Nearly 70% of Xbox 360 owners connected to Xbox Live have downloaded an arcade title with the attach rate being 6 to 7 titles per user. Original games typically receive 350,000 downloads in the first month. Titles have an average 156% financial return over 12 months with the first two months of sales accounting for just 35% of total volume. Average conversion rate across all titles is 18%. On September 19, 2007, Microsoft announced the top 10 arcade downloads worldwide as Aegis Wing, Uno, Texas Hold, M, Geometry Wars, Retro Evolved, Bankshot Billiards 2, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1989, Classic Arcade, Worms, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, and Contra, Xbox One with Xbox One, Microsoft has decided to forego placing different types of games in different channels. As such, Microsoft will drop the Live Arcade moniker, instead grouping all types of games together. Pricing and Releases Xbox Live Arcade titles range in price from $2.50 to $20 with the vast majority selling for $10 and under. The games are generally aimed towards more casual gamers, striving for pick-up-and-play appeal. Several games were temporarily free, including Texas Hold, M, Carcassonne, and Undertow. Others are permanently free including Aegis Wing, a game created by three Microsoft interns, Totem Ball, a game that can only be played with the Xbox Live Vision camera, Yaris, and Dash of Destruction, which was released on December 17, 2008 as a Doritos Adver game. On November 30, 2007, Microsoft introduced Xbox Live Arcade Hits, where games are permanently reduced in price. As of July 22, 2008, current arcade hits include Lumens Live, Assault Heroes, Zuma, Doom, Bankshot Billiards 2, Small Arms, Puzzle Quest. Challenge of the Warlords, and Marble Blast Ultra. On June 24, 2011 video game website OneUp.com reported that Microsoft was preparing to bring free-to-play games to Xbox Live and said games will include a microtransaction service. The first free-to-play game of Happy Wars was released on October 12, 2012. Removal of Games In May 2008, 
Microsoft announced that games older than six months would become eligible for delisting from the service if they had a Metacritic score below 65 and a conversion rate below 6%. The objective was to focus the catalog more on larger, more immersive games and make it much easier to find the games you are looking for. However, Microsoft has never removed a game using this method. In February 2010, it was announced that nine games from Midway Games would no longer be available for purchase, due to publisher evolving rights and permissions, referring to the purchase by Warner Brothers of some assets of Midway Games, including certain rights related to the nine games. Similar fates befell the XBLA version of Double Dragon when its publisher went under. Yaris was an Abba game that was pulled from the system after a year due to the timely nature of its contents. Its software's Doom was pulled from the catalog due to it being purchased by publishers any Max Media, and as such the publishing rights were removed from then-publisher Activision. As of January 19, 2012, Doom was restored to Xbox Live Arcade under new publisher Bethesda. In 2011, Ubisoft announced that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Reshelled was due to be removed from the Xbox Live service on June 30, 2011 due to an expired license. Chessmaster Live has also been removed. On December 15, 2013, Capcom announced on their blog that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 would be removed from the XBLA store. Although no specific date was listed, the last date for DLC for these titles was listed as December 26, 2013.